Hello again everyone. Well, you may ask yourself, why am I sitting at my dining table with two carrier bags either side of me? All will become apparent during the course of this video. But if you want a couple of clues, take a look at this. Pretty impressive stuff, I think you'd agree. What's more impressive is I got that performance while the vacuum cleaner wasn't plugged into the wall socket. How can that be? How can you pick up all that dirt on your carpets and floors without it being plugged in? Well, I've done it with the Vax Air Cordless. Obviously, it's a fantastic machine. Buy it. You don't have to watch a video, buy it. You don't even have to know what these carrier bags are about. Just buy one. It's brilliant. But if you do want to know a bit more about it, then stay tuned. Now, I've had the machine just over a week now, and I thought I'd use it for a few days before diving headlong into my review. I thought it's best, you know, give the product a fair whack, use it as I would normally use a vacuum cleaner, do my whole house, use it for quick pickups, just generally use it. So now I can safely say, now I have used it, it is brilliant. So let's get on to the carrier bags. This is the one first. This is your sort of regular shopping bag. Not too heavy that. Inside the shopping bag, I have got some strong white flour, 1.5 kilogram. I've got another strong wholemeal flour, again 1.5 kilograms. I've got a, a bottle of coffee here, well not a bottle, I've got a jar of coffee here. And a partly drunk bottle of whiskey, so somebody's been at the whiskey, not me, I'm teetotal. So here we have four items that anybody might shop for in Waitrose. Nothing else in there? Why have I got these out? Well, these weigh about the same as the Vax Airways. That's with the battery, fully assembled, ready to go. That's all it weighs, just over 4.5 kilograms. So that's plus one point for Vax, it is very, very light. Now I'll just move this food out of the way and you'll see why just in a minute. Okay, so I'm back with my other carrier bag. I've cleared the decks because what I've got to show you is quite filthy, literally. This is the dirt I've removed from my carpet in the short week that I've had the Vax Air. Like I say, I've not actually done performance tests with this yet. I've just used it normally. I've not put extra dirt down. I've just cleaned my whole house. I've been in the kitchen. I've been in the bathrooms. I've been on all floors of the house and I've done the stairs and everything. Some nooks and crannies. And this is what I've got out of my carpets. This is genuine dirt, this is not test dirt that I've put down, this has actually been removed from my carpets using the Vax Air. Pretty impressive. Now, I'm going to clean all this mess up and we'll get on with the demo. So finally, here it is, the Vax Air Cordless. I'm just going to go through the various bits that you get in the box and uh, then we'll get to demoing. First course, you get the vacuum cleaner. Like I said before, it is extremely light. I haven't got the battery in. The battery will add a bit of weight, but it is so light. Look, I can hold that arm's length with one hand. And I'm not a big strapping muscle bound hunk. I know it appears to be on the camera, uh, but that's just, you know, the effect of the camera. I'm not, I'm just a, a little weakling really. So I'm gonna put the battery in, see if I can still do that same trick. No, hang on make it difficult for myself. I'll also put the multi-tool on board. So that is it, that's the maximum weight you'd get. Let's see if I can hold it at arm's length. Yep, 
Look at that. Absolutely. So as far as lightweight goes, this is certainly the lightest full-size upright vacuum cleaner that I've ever encountered. Obviously, it's not the lightest cordless vacuum cleaner. There's plenty of cordless vacuum cleaners that are lighter than this, but not full size and not giving the sort of performance this machine does give. I can't go on about this more. I mean, it is fantastic. And I'm quite cynical. I like to test things out and I'm not showing any favoritism to Vax. If this product was a load of rubbish, I'd have told you so. There are a few niggles that I'm going to point out that could be improved but they would not put me off buying this. So, firstly, if you want something that's very, very light, this is definitely in the running for lightweightness. Now then, what else is this machine good for? Well, it's good for cleaning. Carpets and hard floors, it is absolutely fantastic. You'll see later in the demo, I put down my usual mess that I use when I'm testing mains powered, big uprights and cylinder vacuum cleaners. I did put down the exact quantity because it's a smaller capacity but I put down the same sort of stuff and rubbed it into the carpet. I'll be doing that again as well for you and when I passed the machine back and forth I was, well it got a wow from me and it takes a lot to get me excited, certainly when it comes to vacuum cleaners. So it's got the performance, it's got the lightweightness. It's got an amazing six year guarantee, and that's very good. Six years, but oh yeah, they won't put the batteries in that. Batteries, they don't last six years. There's no way Vax are gonna include the guarantee to extend to the batteries, are they? Yes, they do. I was surprised, I had to double check, but included in the six year parts and labor guarantee, both batteries, and yes, count them, you get two batteries, with a combined runtime of 50 minutes. So that is fantastic. In fact, I've not had to change batteries midway through cleaning. You've got more than enough power in these batteries. So the batteries included in the six year guarantee, as is the charger. The charger, it's just a simple little unit. You can wall mount it if you want to. And the cable, nice extra long cable. It's 1.8 meters, nearly two meters of cable. So you'll be able to find somewhere to plug that in, I'm sure. And the batteries, they just pop in, easy as that. Apart from the onboard two-in-one tool that you saw me demonstrating earlier, you get this dusting tool as well, which is a nice soft brush that's suitable for doing your lampshades, your Venetian blinds, your shelving, anything that needs a softer brush, so it's a bit more delicate than the brush that comes attached to the two-in-one tool. When you receive your Vax Air cordless, you will have to charge the batteries. They do actually come pre-charged, about 20% charge in them, so you can actually use your machine as soon as you get it out of the box. But after that, it's best to put the batteries on for their full charge. Now, full charge should take three hours. This is the charger. Just plug it in and you connect the battery quite simply. You see there's some terminals here and they correspond with the terminals on the battery. So you just locate the battery like that and then press down until it clicks into position and this blue light comes on when the battery is charging. When it's fully charged, that light will go off and the charger will not be taking power so it's, it turns itself off when it's fully charged. If there's any problem, a red light will come on. It does tell you to check the manual, but I have checked the manual, I can't really see much about it, but underneath here there is some information should that occur. So as they're charging, you can just see there, this, this battery here is nearly run down, so it's charging the first bar there. When it's fully charged, all three bars will be lit. And you can actually check the life of the battery while it's out of the charger by pressing this little blue button here. So we can see this particular battery is fully charged because all three lights have lit up. So when your battery is fully charged, you need to put it in the machine. And you put it in the machine in the same way you put it in the charger. You locate it at the bottom first and then just push it towards the top until it clicks into position. So that's it, it's ready to go. Right, since I'm in the kitchen, I'm gonna test the hard floor performance first. So I'm gonna put some dirt down and we'll see how this Vax Air cordless copes with it.
To test the Vaxair cordless on hard floors, I've thrown down various items onto the floor that would be spilt in the average kitchen. So on this floor we've got some sugar, we've got some rolled oats, some other breakfast cereals and some couscous. I do normally use rice for these demonstrations but unfortunately we've eaten it and all I had in the cupboard was rice pudding so I don't think that would have coped very well with rice pudding and it's not meant to. So anyway, this will hopefully give you an idea how well the VATS picks up on hard surfaces. And for when you're using it on hard floors, you actually turn the brush bar off. So for this demonstration, it's going to be suction only. So here we go. This is live as it happens. Now, when I first did this, and yes, I have done this before, I've actually filmed it, but this is being filmed live, so to speak. I had to do it before I filmed it because I thought it's never going to pick up this. It won't do it. It's, it's not going to do the job. But apart from just the two tiny little bits of couscous, which didn't actually manage to be sucked in on the first couple of passes, that is more or less a clean sweep. That is very, very impressive. Right, I'll just clean the rest of this up and then we'll go into the living room and test it out on my famous bag of filth. Now here's a familiar sight to my regular viewers. My famous bag of filth. And added to the bag of filth, I've put down the contents of the bin from the hard floor demonstration. And I've really rubbed in the hairs. There's dog hair here, there's bits of paper, general household dust and other bits and pieces. Just general domestic dirt that you'd find in your average or your very dirty home. So that's it. I've trampled it in. I'm going to now pass the Vax Air Cordless once through the middle of this mess, once forward and once back, and we'll just see what sort of result we get. For this demonstration I'm going to make sure that the brush bar is turned on. That is what caused me to say, wow, the first time I used this machine. It is absolutely outstanding performance. And when you consider that this is a cordless machine, you're not tied to the wall with a cable that gets tangled up or is either too long or too short. Look at that. That is fantastic performance. All right, I did go a little bit slower than perhaps you would in normal use, but this is obviously an extreme example of dirt in your home. When you're normally vacuuming your home, it's not going to have to cope with this sort of mess. But it can cope with this mess. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear up the rest of this, and then we'll get on to the tools use.
unlike some other cordless vacuum cleaners on the market, the Vaxair has its own attached hose and cleaning tools. So apart from being able to clean your carpets and floors, you can actually do some above floor jobs as well, such as your stairs and your upholstery. So it has a hose on board here and it attaches to the base low down here. There is a blue button, you just press that blue button in and then that releases the hose. I will say one failing of this machine and it's a little niggle, the hose is quite short. Now it does stretch, so you can pull it out and it will stretch, it's about a metre it'll stretch away from the machine. Obviously it's not going to stretch up your stairs but the machine is so light you can carry the machine in one hand while using the cleaning tool in the other. You can of course extend the reach by attaching the wand. I'll just release that from the machine. So the cleaning handle, the handle you actually use the machine in upright mode, actually forms your extension tube when you're using your cleaning tools. So it's just a case of clipping the hose onto the end of the tube there. So now you've got a bit extra reach if you want to do up high, if you've got cobwebs, you want to dust the top of your curtain rails, things like that, you can do it with the attached extension wand. And onto the end of the extension wand, we can say fit the soft dusting brush, so that may enable you to reach up high to clean. And of course you can fit the onboard combined two-in-one tool, you've got your crevice tool, and your dusting tool as well. Also, of course, you can fit any of the tools directly onto the hose, like that. So if you're working in a tighter space, if you're cleaning your car and you need to get under the, the seats, so you need to use your crevice tool, you obviously don't want to be using the extension wand because it makes it a bit awkward. You can actually get a smaller space when you're using the tool directly attached to the hose. The suction power on this will not rival, at the moment anyway, a mains powered vacuum cleaner with a hose. But the power i found is more than adequate for doing those little nooks and crannies, for doing your dusting, for doing your upholstery. Also one thing I would like to have seen on this Vax would have been another tool, possibly a mattress tool or some sort of upholstery nozzle. You can actually buy a selection of accessories that fit this machine, just go to Vax's website. The instruction book does actually show you some optional accessories you can buy. call this swivel action air motion technology and I can see why it is absolutely fantastic at just swiveling all around the home. If you've got lots of furniture this is an ideal machine because it just gets everywhere. Just You just twist your wrist and it stays flat on the floor unlike some machines I've used where if you twist them too fast or too far the cleaning head tilts upwards it's hard to show you on this one, but it doesn't on the vax. It stays flat to the floor, so it's giving you optimum contact and optimum cleaning.
Well, that's the demonstration nearly over. Now I need to dispose of all the dirt that I've picked up with my new Vax Air Cordless. To move the dirt bin, it's simple enough. There's a blue button on the top here. Just press that with your thumb, and then the whole dirt bin releases from the machine. And then you have a further button here, push to empty. So obviously, hold it over your bin. Just move that out of the way. Hold it over your bin and press the button. And all that yucky dirt falls into the bin. And then you just close the flap like that. Vax recommend you clean the filter every four to six uses to maintain the performance of your air cordless. To access the filter, it's underneath the motor block which is on top of the dirt bin. You've got a little closed padlock and open padlock on the back. All you do is twist the top and release the motor unit and underneath the motor unit we can see the filter. So you just remove the filter, clean that under running cold water, cool water, um, give it a shake, squeeze it out and leave it to dry for 24 hours. Only make sure it's completely dry before you put it back in your cleaner and then it just fits back into the motor unit like that. You can clean the bin a bit more if you want to do that. This whole unit comes out if I can that's it. So obviously it's got a bit of dirt on it for my demos but you can clean that with a, a brush you can use a dusting brush from the machine if you want to not with suction obviously if you have another vacuum cleaner to hand that's even better you can clean out all the gubbins here or just wipe it with a damp cloth not dripping wet just a damp cloth dry it and then leave it out of the machine until you know it's thoroughly dry and then you can pop it back and you can give the bin a rinse out as well if you want to I wouldn't need to do that, I wouldn't say you need to do that as much as you'd clean the filter but whenever it's needed really, you might have to clean the filter more, you might have to clean it less, it all depends on usage. Okay to sum up, would I recommend the Vax Air Cordless? Yes I would 100%. Apart from the couple of niggles, the hose is a little bit short and awkward to get at because it's low down in the machine and I would have liked an extra tool for doing stairs and things like that. Apart from those two small niggles, I would recommend it 100%. I'd even recommend it with those niggles because they're ins insignificant compared to the benefits of this machine. The performance for a cordless upright vacuum is outstanding. I've never used a cordless cleaner that picks up as well as this machine. It's very, very manoeuvrable. It's very light. It has a massive runtime of 50 minutes with the two supplied batteries. It has a six year guarantee on the machine, the batteries and the charger. I'm absolutely blown away by this. This is one of the most glowing reviews I've given and I don't, I'm not biased. If this cleaner hadn't done what I wanted it to do, if it hadn't performed, I wouldn't have tried to fake it to make it look like it's better than it is. I have been surprised by the performance of this cleaner. Try one out for yourself, I think you'll be surprised too. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions ask them down below and if you'd like to see more floor care products subscribe to my channel and I have a feeling that the Vaxair will make another appearance in some form or another. So until then, it's goodbye.